Hey, how are you? It's been a long time. It's been too long and I've been too busy. Since we last spoke, I launched B2Bsalestoolkit.com. You can find the planner there and the Dream Client Planner. Go out and check that out if you want to be more productive by a factor of 10. And then I also have been putting together B2Bsalestraining.com and now we have very close to 500 chapters shot. I think we have just over 300 already live. And if you want an announcement when that training offering comes uh, available, which should be in the next week or so, go to b2bsalestraining.com. I finished the book, Eat Their Lunch. We're in uh, copy edits right now, straightening out some sentences, and we'll be done with that for the October 16th release. And I've started working on book four. Believe it or not, book four is coming fast behind book three. If, in fact, I get my way on this one, we'll see. We'll see how I do. I got an email today Actually, I read the email today, it came in a long time ago, and I lost it. But the question from the writer of the email said, please explain more what you mean when you say revenue is vanity, profit is sanity. Okay, I learned this from one of my mentors in staffing as a young kid. And in that business, there are multi-million dollar companies who have so much leverage that they can force the price down whenever they're working with commodity-like vendors, and there are a lot of them in the industry. So what would happen is the average markup might be 38, 40% in light industrial staffing, and someone would go in at a lower rate, and then someone else would go even lower than that, and then you would find out that they had a 25% markup, which means if it's the pay rate times 25%, instead of getting 40%, which allows you to be profitable and do good work, you have no more profit, because that 25% covers taxes, workers' compensation, and SG&A. So you're pretty much done at that point, no real profit. But there were people who would take it, and they were interested in revenue, and they were interested in having people out working and making a name for themselves in the market, even though this is like drinking nothing but Coca-Cola. It's all empty calories. There's no nutritional value. When we say revenue is vanity, profit is sanity, profit is really like spinach and kale, and uh, Brussels sprouts and all those other things. You may not like the way they taste, but the fact of the matter is they're full of the nutrition that you need. So even though you might like ice cream and pizza, it's not gonna serve your business. And that's what revenue is, it's vanity. It's nice to have, it's great when you grow, but if you grow at the cost of having profit, it's not worth growing. You're not doing it right. And what you're doing is you're hurting the business and you're probably hurting your clients. As a salesperson or a sales manager or a sales leader, here's what you have to know. There are only three strategies really that you can choose. And if you wanna read more about this, go check out The Discipline of Market Leaders, a uh, great book. And one choice is to have the lowest price. And if that's your choice, that means your strategy is to always beat people by having the lower price. And what that means is that you should always win by having the lower, lowest price. And you should never lose because somebody else has a lower price because that is actually the value that you're creating. You're saying our product isn't better, our service isn't better, the experience isn't better, our outcomes aren't better, but you will get the absolute lowest price. And that serves some part of the market. Then you can choose best product, which means the value that we create is that we have something that's differentiated, it's better, it's the iPhone 10. That is something that's better than other phones and they can get a premium for being better. For most of us though, we work in an industry or in a role where it's called customer intimacy, which means we don't have the best product necessarily. We don't have the best price, but we do have the greatest value proposition. So we have the best solution, we can create the greatest outcomes. That's why you have to have profit. So I wanna make this really, really clear so people understand it. When you go and you say, I'm going to discount or concede to try to compete with people whose model is to have the lowest price, what you're doing is insane because you're taking profit out of your business and that means you're stripping yourself of the money that you need to be able to deliver the outcomes that you sold. So you've taken away the money that you need for additional people so that you can have a great experience and great service. You've taken money out of the product because you can't invest in the best quality product that you could possibly make because you just don't have the money to do it. What happens is you start allowing your customer to underinvest in the result that they need, and because they're underinvesting, now you're underinvesting, and because you promised that you were gonna be compelling and differentiated and you were gonna produce a better result and then you don't, then they look at you and say, I could get the same thing I'm getting for somebody who has even a lower price than you. So this is why revenue is vanity. It might look good, 
but profit is sanity. Profit is what sustains your business. Profit is not empty calories, it's nutrition, it's what you can use to grow and fuel a business. So you have to be very, very clear in understanding what is our business strategy, what are we supposed to be doing. And even if you have the lowest price and even if you eke out 1% on the net margin line, if that's the model, that's the model and that's how you win. But for most of us, that isn't true. So revenue is vanity, profit is sanity. Let's not be insane here. When I went to Harvard Business School, they had this cartoon in one of the PowerPoint presentations I watched, and it was two people in business, and the one was saying to the other, we're losing money on every single transaction, but we're gonna make it up on volume, don't worry. I'm Anthony Anarino. You can find me at thesalesblog.com. If you don't know my work, go there. There's 3,500 posts on that site covering just about everything you can think about as it pertains to sales and success and leadership and management and productivity. Uh, this is the YouTube channel, and I'm supposed to tell you what to do here, so let me see what I can do. The first thing you should do is like this video, and then you should share this video, and then you should subscribe to this channel so every time I create a vis video, you'll get notification. When you go out to the site, thesalesblog.com, you will be accosted by a banner that will beg you to sign up for some free piece of content so that I can send you my Sunday newsletter, my very best work every week. If you want a preview of what that looks like today when you're watching this, go out and watch um, the or look at the May 20th post on the practicality of optimism and positive thinking. Uh, it's a really, really good piece. You're going to like it. You'll get a lot out of it, and you should definitely read it going into Monday morning. That's it. That's all I've got for you. See you next time. This is Every Day.